Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. thanks for joining as ever and uh, how's your Monday going? Hope your Monday's gone really well or going well so far, whatever that may be. Actually quite a fine day today, no rain, it's not too cold I don't think either, so yeah, it's pretty alright. Uh, now, news coming out of Oakwell is that it does look like Gerard Struber is going to be the next Reds manager from Posts I've seen online, Twitter, etc. It looks as though it finally could be sorted. Jesus Christ, it has took an eternity. When you look at Cardiff, who've appointed Neil Harris, you look at Stoke, who appointed Michael O'Neill, how quick it took them to sort out a manager. Whereas us, it's took over a month, over a month. Adam Murray has been in charge for that period of time since Daniel Stendhal's departure. Still not won a game, but we have tightened up, I do feel, and we have played some some decent football uh, in terms of how we can play football, if you get where I'm coming from. Um, so, in terms of that, I never thought for one minute that he did want it on a permanent basis, Adam Murray. Uh, you could... Especially after that Stoke game, he was, in his interview, he was really hinting that he uh, wanted something sorting quickly, which uh, us as fans did as well. Now, like I said in the last video, see, it's been really hard as well not to actually get content out because everything's been so quiet. Because uh, I do like to post daily, but it is hard when there's little to talk about. Um... Now, in terms of how long it's took, then I really do hope that the board and everything that was worked on getting uh, Struber over have worked tirelessly to do that. They've actually done so much research, it couldn't be researched anymore, and believed together that this is the right man to bring the club forward and get us out of the situation where we are. Now, he's managing a side in the Austrian league, uh, or in the top three. Now, I don't know what it's took to be able to drag him away from that, to bring him to England, to join a side that looks dead and buried, because we do at the moment in time. Whether it's money that's been offered, we've had to prize him away, I don't know. But I'm talking here as if it's actually all done and dusted. This is reports, guys, this is reports. So this is like... Not a confirma confirmation, but more of a, it does look it, it does look like it is going to happen in the next few days or, or, or so. So, if it does, get behind him. There's no point not doing. You've got to get behind him. Um, yes, I would fully admit I would have liked to have seen somebody come in with some championship experience with someone who knows the league, who knows how to get out of a situation like this. Uh, however, it is what it is, and this is the road that this new ownership and this these new uh, board members are going down with managers from other countries. Now, we've seen it with Stendhal, and it did work in League One. Uh, we didn't get the players, he didn't get the players he wanted for the championship, therefore... It didn't work in the championship. So whether the board are going to change the philosophy in January, I don't know. I think it would be a little bit of an insult to Stendhal. See, it kind of it kind of gets me thinking, if the do change, what does that say about Daniel Stendhal? And, and it makes me feel even more sorry for Daniel Stendhal. If the do change and actually allow experience and loan players, etc. Because... It wouldn't have been a bad... I don't believe it would have been at all uh, a daft move. It's been a daft move not to get them players in looking at it now. And I do believe... There is a part of me that obviously... That that still does believe... And, I, and, I, and I've always believed in youth and bringing young players through. And I love that. That is what I love about what we're doing. But there's just... There's too many all thrown in the deep end. And that's what makes me question it. And I do believe that we should have brought some players in with some experience. And there's still players available out there who are free agents. Uh, but am I wasting uh, vital oxygen by talking about that? But, 
you look at Struber's record, he's done really well with the side that he's currently at. If he does come, remember guys, it's, it's nothing confirmed. But I want to know what your thoughts are, whether you're happy with this appointment, if it does go through. Uh, it's hard to tell. We can't just sit here and be, oh, why didn't we get so-and-so? Because the results might change. They do a lot of the time. You look at Murray since he's come in with performances have picked up a little bit. Uh, we've got some decent points, probably could have got three points in some of the games, but we've still not got that game management to see out a game or come uh, or, or get through a half without conceding. And I think defensively, we, uh, we've we been poor from marking, from picking men up, etc. It's just, it's been non-existent. And this is the... We're at the back end of November now. Uh, there's, I think, three games left, which is Blackburn, Middlesbrough and Hull. Uh, three huge games. Two away games now on the spin. Uh, Blackburn, Saturday, Middlesbrough on Wednesday. The massive games for if Struber is in. Uh, and I don't particularly want to go through the rest of November without a win, let me tell you. So... It's a huge, huge, huge um, next three games. Whoever is in, in, in the hot seat for us. the It's getting to that point now. We're, we're nearly in December and only won one game. I mean, I've never, I don't think since I've been going, ever seen Barnsley be in a situation where we can't find a win from anywhere. And like I said in the last video, it's all right saying we look like we're going to win, but come six o'clock when you bite green and it's only going to say one win in it, isn't it? Actually, does anybody, did anybody used to get the green and what a newspaper that were, they need to bring that back. I used to love getting the green in on a Saturday evening. One of the best newspapers ever, sports papers ever, the green and it were a fantastic read. Bring back the green and bring back the green and so, all right guys, well, it does look as though it could be Gerard Struber coming in. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, whether and we'll see in the next few days. It does say online from what I've been reading, it looks like it's going to be confirmed in the next few days. So let me know. Just let me know your thoughts on the appointment if it does go through. And if it don't, we'll be saying, well, not believing Alt ever again. But it does look it does look a, bit, a little bit uh, a lot a lot more concrete than usual. So. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, there'll be a few more videos this week because we've got previews to do, and obviously, there'll be news on the new head coach coming in. So, thanks for watching, guys. Give me your thoughts on what you think of this, and I will see you later on. See you later, guys.